With the growing problems and concerns surrounding the durability and safety of artificial hips and other implants, doctors are now looking for new ways to keep track of these devices. Two area physicians are now offering a GPS-like system to help monitor and possibly identify implant problems before they fail. When Jerry Gorski had his right knee replaced a couple of months ago at Central DuPage Hospital in suburban Winfield, he got something else along with the implant, tiny beads. They will work as markers around the implant to help doctors keep an eye on how the artificial knee is doing over time. I walked to work the other day, uh, which I wasn't able to do before, that's for sure. So I'm very optimistic about the coming golf season. This new tracking system is being used by two physicians from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. They say they are the first in the country to offer this as an option for all hip or knee replacement patients who qualify. This is a technique now that will allow us to monitor these implants very, very closely and um, determine that if what we're seeing is happening in the simulators is actually happening in the body. The procedure called radio stereometric analysis or RSA allows x-rays to be taken from different angles creating a 3D image. Using the beads as a reference point around the implant, RSA could help physicians monitor whether a replacement implant is wearing down or moving. It could also help provide research for future implant design and technology. What that allows us to do is determine very, very small amounts of motion, uh, whether that motion is occurring after surgery um, or wear of implants, for instance, it allows us to track that and monitor that over time. But it also helps the doctor clinically help you uh, be able to tell where your pain is coming from and, and whether your prosthesis is failing or not. Physicians say the RSA technology will not cost patients anything extra and poses little to no risk. The analysis process will be a team effort between the physicians and Halifax Biomedical, the company that developed the system. And we've been talking about this before, about problems with replacements for knees right. and hips, so it's kind of interesting to have something like this on board. It sure is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Sylvia, thank you.